Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you with my D2S 366 day video. Today is Monday, September the 5th, and I am on my day 249 of the D2S 366 day challenge. Happy Labor Day to everybody um, today. Um, yeah, I just got finished doing my workout. I actually decided to do the treadmill this morning. And I didn't, the reason why I picked it was... <laughs> I was like just kind of on what you would call a disgusted mode with myself so much to the point I was not even going to do a Monday morning weigh-in video um, but I did it anyway and that's just for accountability I mean who am I hiding from but myself so I might as well put it on out there I've been putting it out there all this long and so I might as well continue with that track record so I did not you know it's not that I was trying to hide it it was just like I'm just disgusted I need to get myself together I need to regroup and quit going through the motions and then maybe I can present something more positive um, to you guys because you know right now I've just fell along the wayside with this working out and trying to track with the Weight Watchers and that is failing terribly for me I'm failing terribly at tracking um, I have not for this whole 40 weekend I've been off have not tracked anything have been eating pretty much what I want to eat um, yeah and some things are just high in salt sodium and I do feel a little swollen this morning my knee is swollen this morning and I just know that I've got some extra fluid there and then I think it's about that time when you start getting a little extra bloat as well but I have I know I probably have picked up some pounds too because like I said I have not been keeping up with anything have not been eating right been eating pretty much what I want how I want it and when I want it so yeah and this morning my morning weight in was 217 pounds and you know that was kind of disappointing I'm disappointed in myself for allowing this to happen last week I was 215 the week before that I think it was 213.6 so I have spiraled up that much um it is let me see that was 217.2 this morning Okay, so I have gained 3.6 pounds in the last two weeks. Yeah, last two weeks. I've gained 3.6 pounds. So that is like, oh, no, no, I got to stop that. You know, I've got to stop it somewhere. You know, I've just been floating in between this. My body's just been happy with go down, come back up, go down, come back up. I've been doing this for the last six months now, and it's like it's time to actually stop with this back and forth, back and forth. Can you imagine I would have been, I would have reached my goal by now if I would not go down and have to go back up, you got to fight your way to get back down to where you were, you know, if I could just have some consistency, I could probably have reached my goal way by now, way below what I even expected to have gotten to by this point. I probably could have already been there. But because I have, you know, just sabotaged my journey, you know, I can't blame it on anything else but myself because I have totally sabotaged this journey of mine and that's all to be said and like this week um as far as planning go i started out but i didn't do anything i was gonna make a menu y'all see this just blank i have and that's when you start falling left and behind i did start doing september monthly and i did put goals and things that i had did what i felt i did good with what i felt i did wrong with what i want to improve i did start filling that out but as you see the weeks pass i'm just showing you guys I did not plan a doggone thing. I did not plan meals for the last few weeks. Y'all see that blank pages? When you fail to plan, what this is, it's just to tell you that when you fail to plan, then you're going to fail. When you do not plan, you are going to fail on this journey. And I have not, you know, and y'all know, so hyped and excited to get this book and get started with this book. And then I have let it fall along the wayside. The good thing about this is, is today is Monday. I can start. I haven't had anything in my mouth today but this water here. So what does that mean? 
now's the time to say okay you're saying all this so are you going to make wiser choices this morning and i'm going to choose to make wiser choices starting today okay and i'm going to fill out my million plans that i want to do i'm going to do that today so that i can get somewhat back on track um and try to stick with these plans it's so hard for me to plan a meal because most of the time we don't really like to eat the same thing the next following day so that throws kind of like a damper into it as well so um yeah but i've got to come up with something that works for me i have got to find something and i don't know what it is i'm thinking maybe weight watchers is not it and i've been saying it for the longest and maybe that's why it's not it is because i have been saying it's not it and i've been speaking that thing into existence you know the, the word of god tells us that we have what we say and i've been speaking it into existence that it's not working for me so what is it going to do it's not going to work for me because that's what my mindset have said is that it's not going to work I got to try to give it a better shot. I know it works. I've seen it work for other people. So if it's working for them, why would it not work for me if I was not totally applying myself to it? And that's what I have not been doing. I have not been totally applying myself to it. So that's one thing I got to do. I got to get totally dedicated to one thing and stick with it. Okay. Now, the one thing I can say I have been faithful to, and I don't know if it's because of my personality with the challenge i like to stay on the challenge i like to win a challenge not win but i call it winning when i finish when i complete it because i feel like if i don't complete the challenge then i'm feeling more like a failure and i don't want to be a failure i want to finish this challenge so i think that's what keeps pushing me at continuing to work out and exercise every single day for 25 minutes I think that's what really keeps me going on this challenge because there's some days I want to be like, oh, I quit. But because I want to say the competitiveness, competitiveness in me because I'm not very competitive, but I always hate it because as a child, it's like I never wanted anything. And I think I use that to just push myself into thinking, you know, you don't want to lose at this. You don't want to lose at this. You want to continue. You want to finish. You want to get to the mark. So I think that pushes me to do that. So, um, I have just got to get better with this diet and eating and things like that. So, let me show you all my stats. I didn't really come on to talk that long because I got some things I really need to do around the house. Because work day starts back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but thank God I have a job to go to. Because <laughs> I could be like, I can't find a job and I want to go to work. I could be up here crying about that. Anyway, I worked out for 25 minutes, 23 seconds. My steps was 2,718 steps. I walked 1.11 miles. My heart rate averaged 154 to 183, and I burnt 336 calories walking this morning. Okay. That is my stats, and today is... Sometimes this watch just tears my nerves up when it won't change over. Come on. I don't think I'll be hitting the right spot or something. Hey, man. Making a video. Huh? I'm making a video. Quit calling my name. Okay, today is September the 5th. Okay, today is September the 5th. And this is my D2S 366-day video. I am on my day 249. Whatever day you are on, you make this day the best day you could possibly be. Keep pushing, keep moving. You got this. We got this. And, yeah. So, you got to keep telling yourself you got this. So, I keep telling myself, you got this. You're going to master this. You're going to get this, okay? It's going to happen. It's going to happen, but you've got to put some work into it to make it happen. So, that's what I keep telling myself. But, anyway, I'm going to go for now. Like I said before, y'all have a wonderfully, happily blessed Labor Day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.